Someday, in the not so distant future, it happens. The moment you realize you're ready for anything. Get a degree in emergency management from Jacksonville State University and be ready for where you're going. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Tuesday, April 8th. I'm James Spann. Uh, some showers late today and tonight, maybe some thunder, but no flooding, no severe weather this time, which is good. Uh, let's take a look at the big picture this morning. You can see the deal. We have this big upper trough, the axis west of the state, that will be rotating through here tonight, and that should bring a band of showers and maybe some thunder. Uh, late today, there could be some storms with uh, maybe hail and gusty winds over Mississippi, but uh, no severe weather expected here, uh, and rain amount should be under one half inch, and that's good. It is colder this morning. Look at those 30s up in northwest Alabama. Haleyville, 37. Muscle Shoals, 38. Mostly 40s elsewhere. We'll expect a high in the middle 60s today. We should be in the lower 70s this time of the year. And around the nation, it's fairly cool. About the only really warmth is down in South Florida at daybreak. That's a pretty quiet map there for April 8th. You know, this is the 16th anniversary of the horrible EF5 tornado that affected Birmingham in 1998. 34 people died during that event, but uh, no severe weather this time. In fact, the only problems really up on that map, some flooding issues in Maine. <clears throat> we do note a few counties in Alabama in green. Those are river flood warnings on the uh, western side of the state, rivers like the Cahaba and the Black Warrior. Rain for the next five days, not much. This is valid through Sunday morning, and again, we'll see some uh, uh, later today and tonight, but the amount should be pretty light. Check modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid today at 1 o'clock local time. There's the trough axis swinging through. Thunderstorms at midday today west of here around the Mississippi Delta, and because of the cold air aloft, there could be some small hail in the storms over there. Check the high-res NAM. This is uh, 7 o'clock this evening, and Really, the, the new run here of the NAM, the four-kilometer NAM, is kind of keeping the rain until after 6 o'clock. Uh, it's got showers and storms over northwest Alabama. Then that stuff kind of fades in here late tonight uh, after midnight uh, in a weakening phase. So if you take this on face value, it might even be you know, 10, 11 o'clock midnight before any rain gets into our part of the state. But we have seen other runs that bring it in earlier, and out of respect to that, we'll kind of – have the window between 4 p.m. and uh, a little after midnight tonight for the rain. Tomorrow, uh, the sun should be back in full force, and the high will be in the middle 60s. bit of cold air advection. Thursday should be a bright, sunny day with a mild afternoon. We go back in the 70s. Thursday morning, though, again, it's going to be chilly. The models have been trending a little warmer, and based on those thickness values, I think we're not going to see widespread frost. But the colder pockets, and you know the ones we're talking about, Valleyhead and Black Creek, uh, you know, the communities that are always colder, uh, they'll probably see mid to mid-30s with some frost early Thursday. But in terms of a widespread frost, no, it doesn't look that way. And that's good. But, hey, I'm not so sure the uh, potential for frost is over after Thursday morning. I know it's late in the season. Everybody wants to plant, but uh, let's look at Friday. Uh, should be a just gorgeous day. Sunny with mid-70s. Saturday as we start the weekend, perfect day. That lots of sun, the high probably 77 to 80. And Sunday, a storm system begins to form west of the state, but Sunday will be dry with a high around 80, a pretty decent amount of sunshine. So a really nice weekend, but it's a good thing because Monday, here comes our next storm system. Pretty good uh, positive tilt trough, and down below that, uh, looks like we go very wet. That's Monday at 1 o'clock. A, a surface low seems to be developing uh, on the Alabama-Mississippi border. And uh, this is Monday evening at 7 o'clock. That surface low moves up to about Rome, Georgia. And, of course, seven days out, we don't know how this is going to fan out, but looks like a dynamic system. And there could be potential for heavy rain and, and maybe strong storms. But we just don't know at this point the details and uh, if there will be a severe weather threat, something you always have to watch in mid-April. And then Tuesday of next week, the system is on by, and uh, ooh, we got some cold air advection. And uh, we've seen evidence here of uh, maybe some, you know, a cold snap there right at, around tax day that just might 
produce a frost or a freeze problem, but again, you can't be specific this far in advance. Just something to watch. Go out there a little later. This is April uh, 20th. Evidence of a band of storms there. And the end of the forecast on the 23rd. Big uh, troughing over California. We've seen actually pretty good consistency in that idea. And if that's right, uh, we would be uh, relatively warm and and quiet. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 4 o'clock this afternoon. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television site, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless.